G'day, 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 ladies and gentlemen. My name is Dylan, and we are joined by Tanya. Hi. Today, we're getting into another episode of Friends. This one is episode, I do believe. Woo. I just started it. Episode 21, I do believe we're up to. Yeah, that much. Almost the end of the season. Yeah, episode 21, season number eight, ladies and gentlemen. This one is called The One with the Cooking Class. Interesting. I wonder who that is. <laughs> who likes cooking? Me. I mean, Monica. Monica. <laughs> so it's, I dare say this is about Monica. So, ladies and gentlemen, with that being said, let's jump straight into it. Hopefully, you guys do enjoy it. Let us know in the comment section down below. And now, let's get it. Let's do it. Go watch season four over on Patreon, guys. Now, go wash your balls. Real loss. I got some bad news. What? Oh, that's no way to sell newspapers. Monica's restaurant got a horrible review in the post. I didn't want her to see it, so I ran around the neighborhood and bought all the copies I could find. Man, this is bad. And I've had my share of bad reviews. Joey Tribbiani was abysmal. That's not a good compliment. That's a good one. Oh, my God. It must be a good review. Is it great? Um... But the good news is, no one in a two-block radius will ever know. <laughs> what about the rest of Manhattan? Yeah, they all know. <laughs> yeah, but you know what they say, Mon? There is no such thing as bad press. The chef's mahi-mahi was awful, awful. Is bad press? <laughs> I didn't write it. Because <laughs> it's the truth. Your food is abysmal. <laughs> had a lot of water before I went to bed. Can we do this? Oh, no, 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 no. We do not have a changing table. We do not have a diaper service. Oh, it's funny she we... mentioned diapers. <laughs> There's nothing to worry about. We have plenty of time. We will go there and we'll get you everything we need, okay? Okay. If you're going to do this, then I'm going to go do that. So... Oh, wait, Ross, I'm sorry. One more thing. Um, our situation, you know, um, what we mean to each other. Isn't that, isn't that weird? I'm just kidding, you can go pee. <laughs> Can't remember, did we say we were gonna meet here or at the movie? We said at the movies, but... Okay, I'll see you there. <laughs> Joey, now that you're here... Sure, I can hang out until I have to meet you. <laughs> well, I can't, I've got a job interview I gotta get ready for. I thought you already have a job. <laughs> and people say you don't pay attention. <laughs> No, no, this is a much better job in statistical factoring for other companies. <laughs> wow, how do you know how to do that? That's what I do now. <laughs> so we know what his job is. What is it? Remember that guy that gave me a bad review? You cooked him? <laughs> he teaches a course on food criticism at the new school. Restaurant reviewer admits I was wrong about Monica. <laughs> The front page? <laughs> you really do live in your own little world, don't you? <laughs> yep. That's Monica. Do you uh, want these things delivered, Mr. and Mrs. Geller? We're, we are not married. Uh, we are having a baby together, but we're, we're not involved. <laughs> I mean, uh, we we just friends, and then there was one drunken night. <laughs> <laughs> or, yes, stranger, we'd like this delivered, please. <laughs> Why don't you fill out this address card? I noticed you picked out a lot of our dinosaur items. Actually, that's one of the reasons why we are not a couple. <laughs> I chose those. I'm a paleontologist. That is so cool. It sounds like he's a doctor, but he's not. <laughs> oh, oh, I'm fascinated by paleontology. Have you read the new Walter Alvarez book? Standing at a cash register, I'm holding a credit card, and I'm bored. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I could tell you work out. <laughs> paleontologist who works out you're like indiana jones <laughs> i am like indiana jones call me indiana ross from now on oh, how did baby shopping go oh it was great oh and ross almost got something that wasn't on the list <laughs> a whore <laughs> what did she know you two were married yeah oh my god <laughs> we must alert the church elders <laughs> You don't understand. You you didn't see how brazen she was. Picking up some shop girl at Sluts R Us? <laughs> Is that a real place? <laughs> Are they hiring? <laughs> <laughs> hey, Phoebe. Phoebe. <laughs> Thank you. Chandler, why it's so fancy? Well, I got a job interview. Yeah, you really, you look great. Yeah. You know, just don't get your hopes up. <laughs> Why not? You know, you don't make a very good first impression. <laughs> what? 
you're trying too hard, always making jokes, you know? You just, you come off a little needy. Did you like me when we first met? Chandler, I'm not gonna lie to you, but I am gonna run away from you. <laughs> she moved pretty quick for a pregnant woman. I'm the chef at Alessandro's. Still? Still? you said about me were really unfair, and I would like for you... Either eat it or be in it. Spoon? Between my integrity and my desire to avoid a beating. But I must be honest, your soup is abysmal. That a girl! <laughs> Can anyone tell me the difference between a hollandaise and a Bernays sauce? But a Bernays um, has shallots, chervil, and most importantly, tarragon. Monica, you go to the head of the class. Okay. <laughs> hey, how, uh, how serious are you about keeping Ben in your life? Pretty serious. Well, the delivery went out to you, and I realized they forgot this. Home deliveries aren't really part of my job description. <laughs> oh, um, I actually came here to ask you out. Put this back in my pocket. <laughs> Pretend that didn't happen. <laughs> Horny bitch. No, you're a horny bitch, no. You're a horny bitch. <laughs> okay, I'm just gonna grab my coat and, uh, and my whip. You know, because of Indiana Jones. <laughs> just, just normal sex. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm gonna grab my coat. Yeah, that'd be a good idea. Oh, big commission. Picked up a daddy. Are you okay with this? Yeah, please. You guys have fun. Um, oh, okay. I see what you're doing there. <laughs> she used to do the same thing. It's okay. She used Calm to do the same thing. After a while, and then people can see how really sweet and wonderful you really are. So let's say that I'm the interviewer and I'm meeting you for the first time. I'm uh, Regina Falange. <laughs> Regina Falange. Oh, what an unusual name. Well, you should meet my uncle Bada. Bada bing. I would have told him you're hired. <laughs> <laughs> I would have said to him, you're hired. <laughs> your fettuccine Alfredo looks a little dry. Did you use all your cheese? When you say use, do you mean eat as a pre-cooking <laughs> snack? Okay. <laughs> Let's move on. Right. <laughs> oh, something smells good over at Monica's station. Oh, my God. <laughs> this is absolutely amazing. I don't know anything about cooking. <laughs> Hats off to who now? The chef. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> I don't shy away from delegating. But let's stop focusing on what you don't do and focus on what you do do. <laughs> what I do do... <laughs> he wanted to make a joke. ...is managed to uh, create an atmosphere of support. Nice sidestep on the do-do thing, by the way. Hardest thing I've ever done in my life. <laughs> Just fight all your natural instincts and you'll be great. <laughs> you like my cookies? You give me the star. <laughs> mm -mm -mm. Wow, a star. I know you all hate me, and, and I'm sorry, but I don't care. <laughs> oh, my God. This is amazing. I got an A <laughs> in school. Hey, I'm a dork. <laughs> I'm so proud of you. I think you should give him your star. Excuse me? Oh. <laughs> she doesn't like that. He's doing. I do. I'm a professional chef. <gasps> oh, relax. <gasps> it's not a courtroom drama. <laughs> You're a professional chef. What are you doing taking introduction to cooking? Yeah. Yeah. And um, I just got a really bad review. Oh, Alessandro, as a person, you're a little... Oh, I'm totally crazy. But you, you like the food? <laughs> Very much. I'm a good chef. Okay. Did either of you pay for this class? Hey, hey, hey. If my friend says it's time to go, it's time to go. <laughs> also, I was the point person on my company's transition. So let's talk a little bit about your duties. <laughs> duties? Do you do duties? Now you'll be heading a whole division, so you'll have a lot of duties. But there'll be perhaps 30 people under you, so you can dump a certain amount on them. <laughs> we'll have a definite answer for you on Monday. You'll fit in well here. Really? Absolutely. Oh, yeah, I gotta say thank you. I was really nervous. You know, duties. Duties. Who? <laughs> Call security. There's a crazy guy out in the hall. Okay. Go. Just go. Go. I look forward to your call. 
Yeah, thank you. <laughs> Not going to get one. You're back from your date. How are you? I'm fine. Uh, it was fun. We, we just had coffee. A little rub, rub, rub under the table. <laughs> I mean, she's a little slutty, but who isn't? <laughs> I liked her. You would date a gorilla if it called you Indiana Jones. That is true. Did you get like a fresh batch of pregnancy hormones today? Katie bothered me. Why? What was wrong with her? She was perfectly lovely. Okay, so what's the matter? I don't want you to date her. Why? What? What are you jealous? Yes. <laughs> and not because I want you to go out with me, because I don't want you to go out with anybody. It's a terrible okay. thing to even think this, and it's completely inappropriate. <laughs> I'm very sorry, but that is just the way that I feel. What? I won't date. I'll be here with you all the time. But I'm being so unreasonable. <laughs> You're allowed to be unreasonable. You're having a baby. Can you feel better? No, not really. <laughs> You're pressing the baby into my bladder and I have to pee. I'm not going to see anybody else. Are you, are you sure you don't want something more? I don't know. Maybe. I mean, oh, I'm great. I was just messing around. <laughs> <laughs> like you did last night when I had to be. Oh, I know that. I was just messing with you too. Okay. Okay. Because for a minute you said. No, no, no. Oh. Clowns. <laughs> great. Yeah. Clowns. Right. Awkward. <laughs> I was awkward I watching it. Seventh grade? Uh -huh. Acting for beginners. What the hell? Upstage and downstage is. Yeah, this is a stupid idea. <laughs> well, there you go. Other Joey Giuliani doesn't share knowledge. Who? <laughs> what? Joey, there's a thing. There's a there's a quote that says Johnny Triviani doesn't share food. That's one of uh, his main quotes. And, and I said Joey knowledge. Triviani doesn't share knowledge. Yeah. <laughs> too intelligent yeah. for that class. Ah, I'm too intelligent for this. <laughs> Okay, so what did you think? Uh, I was bad as you. What do you think? Uh, I think I know what happens during the whole time. I don't want, and I don't want to. Say I know, but what do you think about this episode, Ross and Rachel? What do you think about that? I can't talk much about that. Well, for me Without personally, spoiling um, it for you. For me personally, I don't really care. Um, I mean, <laughs> we're I'm, almost finished. All of friends, and I've got to that stage where I'm just like, I don't care what happens if they're together, if they're not together, if they fight, they don't fight, whatever. Um, I understand Rachel at this point because when I was pregnant and you were, you were in Australia and I was in Spain, I was, I don't know, I felt so, like, I was scared of giving birth without a dad, mm -hmm. without my children's child's father yeah i was terrified of that just thinking that oh my god i'm going to like go in there by myself i'm going to be alone and he's not going to be there with me that terrified me mm -hmm. and at the beginning when you have a newborn everything is just like so new to you you don't know how to do anything now you think i, I look back and i'm like oh my god it was everything was so easy and you made it look like it was like the hardest job in the world but to me back then it was and and so it was for you it is very hard when you when it's your first child and you've never done it before so i understand that she f has that feeling where she her her, mo her hormones are playing with her mind as well a little bit like she's going to have a baby she's going to be alone she doesn't really have anyone close to her she doesn't have her parents doesn't have her sisters doesn't have anyone rose's parents are all nowhere close to them so she's going to be by herself and just thinking like, oh, she's going to be there struggling. Sometimes she's going to have breakdowns and she just wants to probably would just go into a corner and cry. So you really need your partner's, partner's support or someone's support to be there for you. So for her, the only person that can do that really well, Monica as well and stuff, but they have their lives. So it's very, very important for her to have someone in this case, Ross, there for her when she needs him. Yeah. And if she's if he's dating, he's going to be out every now and then, and he's not going to be there for her. True. Sure. So I understand how she feels. It's that right now she's probably just mixing 
love and emotions you know what i mean like she's mixing that yeah. panic mixed with the emotions of giving birth and no, knowing what to do with being in a relationship with Rosh, which probably is not the case yeah it doesn't mean that she loves him it's just she feels like that because of her hormones and stuff so yeah i understand why she feels like that well, there you go that's why i asked you what do you think about it there you go Makes... And you just say, I don't care about about it. <laughs> it is what it is. It is what it is. I don't know, but those cookies that they made looked yum. And I want one. I'm so hungry. The cookies look dry. What? Yeah, that's right. You like gooey cookies. They look very, very dry. Gooey. I can't stand cookies that have got a crunch to it. Oh, I love them. I can't stand it. I love cookies. I'd rather just go eat drywall. Yeah. And then headbutt the wall while I'm there. That's gross. Yeah. Guys, there you go. Hopefully you did enjoy it. Let us know in the comment section down below. Oh, and it. I forgot to say. Duties. <laughs> That's it. And duties. There you go. I had duties. to say duties. <laughs> duties. Pool. Duties. Poop. Poop. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much. We're going to get into another episode. Hopefully you did enjoy today's one. Let us know in the comment section down below. And we'll speak to you then. Bye bye. Bye. I got all this potential that's deep inside of me But they hate when you're successful cause they try to be They sit there being just mental because you're trying things And they just want you to settle and do the right thing So get a good job, don't slack off